Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 11 of our Let's Try Production Line series. Production Line is an early alpha game. It is version 1.04 still, and um, uh, just uh, keep that in mind. It's a pretty fun game, and I am really enjoying it, although I may complain about uh, various things that kind of drive me crazy a little bit. So uh, don't take that too seriously. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realize you had to actually upgrade your power plants, yikes, that is going to be a little um, um, lot going on here. Uh, oh, you also, oh boy, why am I not able to click on these like the way I would like to? Alright, close that down. So what, um, if this isn't giving me additional power, what are these power plant upgrades doing? I thought it would just give me more power from them. Hmm. I don't know. Um, one thing I did between episodes was I made a list of all of the upgrades uh, that we need to make to our cars so we can get the next generation of our vehicles going through here. Uh, so once we get all these upgrades done, we're going to go through and upgrade our production line, and I won't have to click on everything this time because I've specifically figured out what it is that we need to upgrade. So let's, uh, we are currently building the Dromedary 4, so I believe an Eagle is going to be our next line here. And let's see if I wrote down, uh, there is where I wrote, wrote this stuff down. So, wow, we've got uh, cars lining up at the exit. Crazy. All right, let's, uh, let's go back to the beginning. And I don't have these in order, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure what all the uh, the uh, little choppiness is in there either, why it's uh, getting jaggedy like that. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, I guess it's going to happen. Um, mm, looking over at my... Uh, I can actually see what's going on because I have my task manager running in another window and my drive is at 100%, which seems really weird. Um, I am actually going to uh, pause for a moment. Yeah, that's really strange. I don't know why it would be doing that. And there it's doing it again, too. Like, I can usually, uh... I'm not running anything unusual here that would cause that to happen. So I, I don't know why, uh... Why the video recording... Well, my drive isn't, like, anywhere near full or anything. Huh. Well, whatever. You know, like, it's going to be, uh... I guess it's going to be a little choppy then, if uh, if that's uh, if that's how it's going to work out. Um, so let's let's see. We got uh, brakes, trunk, tires, seats, wheels, and door panels that we need to worry about. Um, so uh, I believe the door panel would probably be the first uh, the first one that we need to come across here. Let's try, whoa, let's try moving the map, uh, roll cage, yep, door panels are probably going to be around here before too far, arches, front vent, uh, those are all the same, roof, roll cage, wait a minute, we're going backwards now, door panels, there we are, and uh, there's the other door panels, so we will choose lane departure warning system is that what I was looking for? I guess so oh yeah sure enough alright let's add it and then over on the other door panel line same thing lane departure warning system and um, next up after that is the uh, probably the seats I guess what do we have here? Windows, wing mirrors, and then paint. Do, do, did I already miss the seats? Were they further back here? Front vent, arches, bottom trim, trunk, bumpers, hood. It'd be nice to have a uh, like an overall control panel that, that I could look at these things and do it that way. Are seats way back here? There's no way they're back this far. You'd think they'd be ahead of where... Oh, there they are. Um, 
well, we may as well take care of that while we're over here. Seats have powered seats. I already have it installed. Driver's side airbag. There we go. And over here, driver's side airbag. Great. Uh, there we go. Passenger airbag. Where was the passenger airbag? I didn't actually write that one down. Um, wouldn't be with the windscreen or lights or horn. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, was that, uh, wasn't in the door panel as well, was it? Oh, you know how we can find out. We'll just go into here. Passenger airbag, fit seats. Huh. So is it included in the, just in general airbags? Did they combine the two or something? Choose, drive, oh, you gotta scroll down. Passenger airbag, there we go. Choose passenger airbag, beautiful. Spare tire is gonna go with the wheels. Wheels, whoops. Uh, tires, wheels. Spare wheel, spare wheel, very good. Uh, tire pressure gauge, that one's gonna go with the tires. And uh, the other one's over here, beautiful. And reversing camera goes to the trunk, that's way back here. Somehow I skipped it earlier. Uh, where do we install the trunk at? It's got to be really early on in the process. Well, well, this is as early as you get. So, undercarriage, fuel tank, roll cage, hood, trunk. There we go. Uh, reversing camera, bumpers, trim, arches, trunk. Reversing camera, waiting for line. Well, that makes sense. All right, and finally, anti-lock brakes. Well, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out where that belongs. Belongs at the brakes, of course. Choose anti-lock brakes. Now, why is it? Boy, it is pointing to all sorts of uh, stuff that I don't think those are supposed to be, uh, like, I don't think it's supposed to be diagramming all of those tires and wheels and so forth that are, um, being hauled in there so that looks like a potential bug there i don't remember that from the previous episode but uh you know i don't know now here's something weird because i noticed in the last episode like oh, okay now it's doing it again all the all the stuff as it uh, as it's used it does it does hover up so all right let's um try to look through all the floating clutter there and and see what's going on faster conveyor cool i guess That must mean we're running out of stuff to research. We have all sorts of goodies, though. More upgrades that we can research, though. And uh, these conveyors are going to be faster for, for what good that's going to do us. All right. So we have the Vanilla Eagle 1. And um, boom, 20% 20, 20 whatever. Good enough. We'll have a little series of uh, upgrades that we're going to have to do. Where did my mouse go? Oh, wow. It really was way over there. There we go. Vanilla Eagle 2 has landed. And 20%. There we go. Save new design. Uh, right off the bat. I wonder how many of these we're going to end up getting. Probably like seven. That was three that we just did, right? So that's number four. Well, 11, 12 million dollars, lots of money. Making a good profit. I guess that's the uh, amount of money that we have. Hmm. 
So the dromedary. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be the most the the latest model would be the one that made us the most money, and that would be the uh, dromedary four. Thirteen thousand, so thirteen million dollars. Makes sense. But the eagle, uh, well, I don't know. Eagle Four has made us five hundred thousand dollars already. Maybe that's the most most recent model or the final uh, final iteration. Doesn't seem likely. We did like six upgrades. There has to be all sorts of different combinations of those upgrades, especially since the trunk one was one of the last ones that we did. Cool, I guess. Let's uh, open up a whole new branch of drivers. Uh, drivers assistance is what we'll go with on this one. So I'm not really sure what to do next at this point. Like we've gotten, uh, we've gotten more money than than we know what to do with. Uh, everything seems to be fairly well optimized. The backlogs are like there's not much we can do about the fact that it's not bringing valves in correctly. Um, I, I guess I could, what? have a specific line dedicated to just valves maybe but like it would have to be from really far away like it would have to be even further away than the current spot that's mostly dedicated to valves and that sits open almost constantly uh, so yeah I don't think that would really help anything oh okay well I guess here's what happens when the when the new car comes out while you're in the research screen vanilla eagle 5 Save new design. All right, power steering. Let's do it. Research now. So give us something to do between episodes, and then if uh, if we go through and do a next episode, we'll be able to have an even further upgraded car. Uh, I really appreciate how many uh, people have been watching this series. All of you who are watching, thank you very much for coming back and continuing to watch it's uh it's been real fun um having uh having this uh having this going and uh wow up to number six already and uh yeah it's great uh this game is really fun um i'm i'm really having a good time playing it and uh i'm glad that you guys are having a good time watching it um i am very glad that cliff has developed it and continues to support it in the great way that he is and uh yeah um i'm not sure what to do next uh if you have any ideas leave them in the comments and let me know i mean i guess we could like set up a whole uh well we don't really have room to set up a whole nother line um I mean, we could start doing the manufacturing of these items, but uh, uh, from what I understand, that is not really, um, like it's not cost effective, that it's actually uh, more cost effective to import things under the with the current balance than it is to manufacture them, which sounds a little silly, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, I mean, the game's new, so you don't expect everything to be perfect. I certainly don't. You know what I could do to speed up the cars getting through here is I could just put in a second fit valve station on each, uh, on each thing. Why not? Fit engine... Fit engine assembly, fit valves. There we go. And then we'll put. I have enough room for it over here. Well, I kind of do if I do it in a weird way. Fit valves. I put it right there. Great. Um, so we'll, we'll we will split that off like that. And put it up there, and then you'll come back over here, 
and you will do the same thing like that. And then we'll just uh, run resources over in this manner. There we go. Maybe that'll speed things up a little bit. See, there's always ways to improve optimization. And actually, we're kind of jamming up optimization over here, too, with the, the steering wheel. Let's, uh, let's throw some robots on there. Oh, and we don't have power steering? Oh, that's because that's a new upgrade, isn't it? Well, extra robots, extra robots, power steering. Might have to double down on the steering wheel input as well. Hmm. That definitely seems to be our bottleneck. Okay. Um, rotate. And are we going to put you over here? I guess we're going to put you right there in the middle. We don't really have the, the cars coming through to uh, to justify that one, but whatever. It's not like we are concerned about money. There we go. And resource conveyor will go like that and down. And you'll go just over like that. Should be fine. There we go. And I need to upgrade you, of course. Put in all the upgrades by... Uh-oh. Right. Well, unfortunately, uh, the game crashed. And uh, I, cannot load, I cannot load up our save anymore. Um, actually, I was able to load... The previous save, uh, you know, I turned off autosave because it was causing the game to crash uh, in, a, in an older version. Uh, so I just turned that off. And um, uh, the game crashed, you know, as I was setting up our new uh, our double, double lines there in that thing. And uh, so after it crashed, I went through and reloaded the uh, game, you know, from like the start of this video. And uh, just went through and, and kind of did tried to redo everything that we had done during the last 20 minutes. Um, and, uh, you know, I got the double station set up for the uh, valves and for the steering columns and, and uh, everything was ready to go. So I saved it and then uh, dropped out, started up the video recording software, and now I cannot get it to load. So um, unfortunately it seems like our save is corrupted and I, yeah, that sucks. Um, so, uh, I, I guess that's it um, for this series, uh, which is too bad, because I, I, I mean, I know I just like 10 minutes ago was saying, hey, I don't know where else we're going to go with this series. But then I realized we can double up on those things and, and try to get as many cars through as possible. There's always room for more optimization. So, unfortunately, that's it for this series. But don't despair. I will start up a new one, because I really enjoy this game, and... Um, hopefully we can uh, get it going again with a new uh, setup and um, maybe that won't cause any problems uh, so thank you I really appreciate you watching this series uh, like I said it's been very popular and I don't quite understand why but uh, thank you for watching it and I hope you will check out some of the other videos that I make I've just started a new RimWorld series so if you have any interest in watching RimWorld and uh, you should because that game is amazing um, uh, check it out uh, we're only four episodes in so far I'll be recording episodes five and six today so there's two new episodes coming out basically every day uh, so you should go over and check that out um, I am also doing a Transport Fever series, uh, so that is also fun. Probably going to start up a new one of that, too. Everything is starting new. Uh, not, I didn't really plan it out that way. It's just how it's turning out. Anyways, uh, check those things out, and uh, thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.